Hi everyone. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to add a little bit of depth and dimension um, into your acrylic paintings. So we are working on disco balls inspired by Sari Shirak. Um, and if you actually look at her art, you can see that each one of her tiles has sort of more than one color in it. So she doesn't blend her colors perfectly into a solid. She picks up different shades and sort of mixes it or places it right onto her artwork. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I've loaded my palette with Prussian blue, lemon yellow, and titanium white. Right here, I mixed perfectly into a blend the Prussian blue with the white. So it's perfectly mixed. You don't see any white. You don't see any blue. It's all mixed into a solid color, just like right here. So that's what I've laid out onto my disco ball already. This is the mix. This is pure Prussian blue, um, and this is the pure lemon yellow. So it's looking okay, um, but it's looking a little bit flat. I don't feel like my painting has a lot of dimension or visual interest. So I'm going to try to make it look a little bit more like the Impressionist artworks. So the Impressionists um, never blended their colors. They really looked at the way light interacts with the environment and just kind of laid down their paint. So rather than these solid colors, I'm going to go with a little bit, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the blue off of my palette and just a hint of white. And I'm not going to blend and I'm just going to lay it down right there. And you can definitely see my brush, brush strokes, right? It's not a solid color. And then maybe I want to change it up a little bit here. I'm going to lay some down here and here. And I'm just going random. Right, maybe I want to pick up a little bit more white and it's still on my paintbrush. I'm not blending anything and I'm just kind of looking for spots where I think this might look kind of cool. I'm going to wipe a little bit of that paint off and I'm feeling it's a little too monochromatic here. Um, so I think I want to just make it more white for that pop. Right, the way that the disco ball kind of sparkles. Right, so we have to have like a nice range of values. And I'm right now just color blocking. So this doesn't mean that I'm going to have to keep it this way. The beauty with paint or of paint is that you can paint over things you don't like the way they turn out. So this to me looks a little bit more dimensional already, but I'm feeling like my yellow is looking a little bit flat. So I'm going to wipe off my brush. Um, I could have rinsed it, but I don't have water. So yeah. Um, and I'm going to pick up some white and some yellow. Now, because my brush had the blue on it, my color's turning a little bit greeny, but that's okay, because it's actually gonna give a nice harmonious look here. So again, see, so you can see my brush strokes. So the green and the yellow and the white are all blending together, which adds a little bit of depth and dimension. Rather than my disco ball just looking like I printed a disco ball and then colored it in with pencil crayons. I'm adding a little bit of visual interest because my colors, my paint is no longer just a solid flat. You know, I'm not, my colors aren't too muddy. I'm just going in and kind of picking and choosing. Right, 
what I'm using and I'm not afraid to touch my paintbrush um, into another color. All right, so that is the tutorial for today. Just wanted to show you to not be afraid to mix different colors on your paintbrush and then apply them um, onto your artwork because that is how you get a little bit of depth and visual interest.